This coming Monday, we mark Remembrance Day. And on Remembrance Day, Canadians will take the opportunity to remember the soldiers who have put their lives on the line, and in many cases even given their lives, in order to protect Canada, and in order to protect the values of Canada, to protect human rights around the world. Just a couple of years ago, many of you know that I had the opportunity to travel to Germany. And while I was there, I went to the town in which my mother was born and grew up for the first six years of her life. The town that she escaped just shortly after Kristallnacht. While in Zweibrücken, which is on the southwestern border of Germany, just eight kilometers from France, I learned that the town in which my mother grew up was actually under the influence of Nazism already by the early 1930s. And I also learned that the Royal Canadian Air Force was the first outside military presence to enter into Zweibrücken during World War II. I must think and remember just how frightening that must have been for the members of the Air Force. It takes real courage to enter and to fly into Nazi Germany, knowing that definitely, certainly, there would be people who would give their lives in order to be able to free Germany and ultimately the world of Nazism. On Remembrance Day, we are given a gift, a gift to remember the gifts that have been bestowed upon us by the Canadian military. As Jews, we understand that we are lucky to live in a country in which we have the rights and the freedom to practice our religion and to live as a community the way we want to. And so it is especially important for us to remember on Remembrance Day the soldiers who have fought on behalf of Canada and to remember that even in our own community, there are Jews who have fought throughout the generations and given their lives on behalf of Canada. I want to wish all of us a meaningful Remembrance Day this coming Monday.